So here in DaVinci Resolve, we can of course do top and tail editing the same way we do it in Premiere Pro or Avid Media Composer. But the name is a little bit different here in Resolve. Let me stop that. And if we come up here to trim, you can see the default for our top edit is called, is called trim start here and trim end in DaVinci Resolve. So start is of course our top edit, end is our tail edit. And the default shortcuts are shift left bracket and shift right bracket. That's not really good for us because we're probably used to Premiere or Media Composer where we use just one key to perform these uh, same edits. But if you want to leave it as default, you can do so. So I'll just park my playhead here, for example, and do my shift left bracket, boom, there is my top edit, control Z out of that. If instead I was in trim mode, I do my same edit, my top edit, boom. Now everything shuffles down or ripples down. Now, before we go any further, let's go ahead and customize our keyboard so we can perform our edits with just a single key. Come up here to DaVinci Resolve and go to Keyboard Customization. Now, I'm assuming you're in the DaVinci Resolve keyboard. If we use our drop down here, you can see there are some other uh, keyboards already set up for us. I already have one set up for myself, but we're going to uh, uh, create one here. So let's start on our DaVinci Resolve keyboard. We know the edits that we want to modify and we know the keys we want to put them on. I'm going to put them on Q and W just because that's probably what you're used to in Premiere or even uh, in MIDI Composer, which of course you can always customize those. But right now let's start with shift. So just click shift and click our bracket. And that shows us right here, trim start. Just click on that. And down here it says trim start. All you have to do is click this X here. That's gonna get rid of the shortcut type Q. Now we can see that Q is already assigned. That's fine. Go ahead and click assign. And now we have our trim start assigned to Q. We have our uh, exclamation point here, our warning, letting us know that's also mapped to something else. We're going to take care of that in just a second. Then we can come right up here to trim end, or we can click shift and we can click our other bracket and click trim end if you want and do the same thing here. Get rid of that. Okay. Get rid of that and I'm gonna press W. Okay, it's already assigned to dynamic trim mode. We don't really need this shortcut. If I hit cancel here, let me just cancel just for a second and cancel all of this and discard. So by default, if I hit Q here in DaVinci Resolve, it's just gonna switch my viewer, okay? I don't need that shortcut. If I press W by default, it puts me into our dynamic trim mode. Again, I don't need that shortcut. I can always just click here or assign it to a different key. All right, so that's what we're going to be overriding here. So let's head back, we'll go ahead and do this real quick. Shift, click our bracket, trim start, get rid of it, Q, assign. I'm just gonna click trim end, get rid of it, W, assign, very good. Now we'll go ahead and remove our keys and I'll press uh, Q. I can see it's set up for two different commands. I'm just gonna click here. It's gonna drop me into where it says source timeline viewer. That's the default, I don't want it. I'm just going to remove it. Super simple, right? Press W, select it right here, trim end. I don't want that one. Go to trim mode here, just click that. Dynamic trim mode, I don't want that, get rid of it. Okay, and now we're all set up, just choose save. And now you can give this a name, so call it my keyboard or use your name, whatever you want. I'll just say my keyboard and click okay. All right, close this out. So now, now, we can go ahead and use Q and W for our top and our tail edits. One key, super fast, super efficient, the best way to edit in pretty much any NLE. So now let's look at how DaVinci Resolve treats our top and tail edits in our different modes and whether or not we have something selected or not. So right now I don't have anything selected, meaning if I select this clip, that clip is selected, okay? So click in a gray area, nothing is selected. So let's do a top edit. A top edit is gonna cut out everything on this side of our playhead. A tail edit would cut out anything on this side of our playhead, or at least anything contained in this clip that we are hovering over. So let's do a top edit with nothing selected in selection mode, okay? So press Q, boom. You can see exactly what happened there. Control Z, you can see that it's cutting the top of this clip and the top of this clip and it is not shuffling down, okay? So Q, our top edit, all of that's cut out. We have this space left here, Control Z. 
if instead I was in trim mode, which is right here, now I can also just press T or I can just click it either one and I'll do that same exact edit with nothing selected, press Q and now I trimmed out the top of both of those clips and everything shuffled down and there's no space in between those edits. Make sense? Okay, now let's go back to selection mode. What if I selected our video clip and I do a top edit here in selection mode? So selection mode is A, press A for selection mode, press T for trim mode. So in selection mode with our video clip selected, I'll do a top edit again, Q, and now just the video clip is cut, nothing shuffles down, control Z. If I was in trim mode, I do the same exact edit. Okay, my playhead is parked here. This clip is selected. I press Q for my top edit. Now it cuts that clip and all of my video clips shuffle down. It did not cut the audio underneath. Okay, very important to realize that. What if I had a bunch of clips? Let me actually uh, deselect everything and I could select that clip and maybe select that clip too. So now I have two clips selected. I'll do a tail edit this time. And now it cuts off the tails of those selected clips and everything shuffled down because we were in trim mode, all right? I do the same exact edit in selection mode, W in this case, it just cuts out the tails, nothing shuffles down, all right? Important to realize that if you select a clip, then that clip will be, uh, uh, will be edited. Now, what if I am hovering over this clip, but I have this clip selected? I'll press W to do a tail edit, nothing happens. I'll press Q to do a top edit, nothing happens because I have this clip selected. Now, if I had my playhead over my selected clip and I did my top edit, now it will actually do that edit, okay? So hopefully you can understand how this works. Now, there's also one other thing you should probably understand. Uh, is that we can patch in tracks to be edited or not when nothing is selected. So again, this clip is selected, click in a gray area, nothing is selected. So if I do a, say a tail edit right now, again, that's going to affect my video clip and the audio clip. But if I deselect this audio track from being edited, it's gray now. I'll do the same exact edit from this point here cut out the tail, click W. Now just that video clip is affected. Control Z. And I can do the same thing in trim mode. Again, our audio track is not patched in. Do my tail edit, boom. Just our video clip is cut. All the other clips shuffle down and our audio is left untouched. So there's a few different ways you can uh, edit with your top and tail. Now, if I instead had the video deselected and the audio selected, we can do the same thing with audio. So do a uh, tail edit here, boom, just cuts that out, okay? Now what if we take our playhead down here and we want to cut out the top, but let's say we don't have the video track selected there, it's not patched in, click Q, then we're just cutting, we're just cutting out that uh, the top there of our, uh, of our audio clip, okay? But if I selected this clip, even though our video track is not patched in there and I press Q, then guess what? It's just going to affect that clip, even though this track wasn't uh, patched in there, okay? So just kind of uh, go through uh, your different options, make Control Z out of that. Again, if I wanted to uh, have everything ripple down, just make sure our ripple is on there. And then I can Q, Control Z out of that, make sure this is selected. And now everything will uh, shuffle down. Okay, so now let's do a real, uh, edit here. Oh, and by the way, I could also say make a cut here, okay, which essentially makes a new clip. So now if I wanted to do a uh, tail edit of just this portion, I can quickly just cut that out, okay? So in this case, I would want that to ripple down and just affect that clip. So there we go. Okay, so keep in mind, you can always use your, uh, your razor, and I have my razor actually mapped to uh, my B key so I can actually do cuts really quick. We'll get into that in a, in a, uh, a different video. But if you want to, uh, say you're doing a tutorial, which I do a lot of, uh, I use uh, my razor tool a lot to make a cut in between sections where I might mess up. You know, I might mess up here, for example, and then up here I say the correct thing. So then I can do a top edit real quick and just cut, you know, just, uh, cut all of that out uh, really, uh, really quickly there like that. Okay.
So control Z out of that. Let's do a real edit now. And let's just listen to this. Let's go to one viewer because we don't need to see the, uh, the other one. And just watch this. Okay, so right there, this clip is really done. She's just going back into her stance, as you can see, right there. And right here, this cue for the music. Let me just go ahead and deselect that audio track so we're not gonna cut it, okay? So, right there, where the music changes, I want this clip to be cut, and I want everything to shuffle down to this new clip, so make sure I'm in trim mode. I can always zoom in. By the way, I can hold down Alt on my keyboard and just use my scroll wheel, tilt it left and right to zoom in real quick. And I can see on this waveform right there. So all I have to do is perform my, my uh, tail edit in this case. Just click W. I'm in trim mode. All of that shuffles down. Let's check that edit. Perfect. But of course, I don't want her starting back here in her stance, I actually want her right before she jumps, right about there. So all I have to do now is press Q for my top edit. Boom, those edits are done quick. Everything shuffled down, play that back. Perfect, now it doesn't look great in this case because there would need to be a cross dissolve, which is simple to do here in Resolve. Uh, grab my cross dissolve real quick, just drop it right there. I'm going to expand it a bit and watch our edit that was done really quick with top and tail editing. Perfect. All right, so that is top and tail editing here in DaVinci Resolve. Be sure to go ahead and set up your keyboard. Again, pay attention to whether or not you have a track selected, if that track is patched in, and which mode you're in, either selection mode or trim mode if you want everything to uh, shuffle down. All right, so that is, again, top and tail editing here in DaVinci Resolve. And by the way, DaVinci Resolve is 100% free. So the link to that will be in the description below if you want to uh, download it for yourself.